Hi friends. Today we will discuss integration by parts. If an integrand is a product or quotient of differentiable functions of x and cannot be expressed as a constant multiple of u du by dx, integration by parts is frequently useful. The method is derived by reversing the process of differentiating a product. Suppose there are two functions f of x and g of x. From the product rule, d by dx of f of x g of x is equal to f of x g dash of x plus g of x f dash of x. Taking the integral of the derivative gives f of x g of x is equal to integral f of x g dash of x dx plus integral g of x f dash of x dx. Then solving algebraically for the first integral on the right hand side, integral f of x g dash of x dx is equal to f of x g of x minus integral g of x f dash of x dx. But in case of for more complicated functions, integration tables are generally used. We cannot solve this given question using normal integration method or integration by substitution. Here we have to use integration by parts. Now let's solve this question. Step 1. Separate the integrand into two parts amenable to the formula of integration by parts. As a general rule, consider first the simpler function for f of x and the more complicated function for g dash of x. By letting f of x is equal to 4x and g dash of x is equal to x plus 1 all cube, then f dash of x is equal to 4, g of x is equal to integral x plus 1 all cube dx which can be integrated by using the simple power rule we have studied. Step 2. Substitute the values for f of x, f dash of x and g of x in our integration by parts equation and note that g dash of x is not used in the formula. Step 3. Use the rule 3 to compute the final integral and substitute. Note that the C1 term does not appear in the final solution. Since this is common to integration by parts, c1 will henceforth be assumed equal to 0 and not formally included in the future problem solving. Now check the answer by letting y of x is equal to x x plus 1 all raised to 4 minus 1 by 5 x plus 1 all raised to 5 plus c and using the product and generalized power function rules. Since integration is a reverse process of differentiation and vice versa, we will get the question here. I hope it's clear for you. If you have any doubt, watch the video again. Links of previous videos are attached in the description box for the reference. So enjoy life, keep learning.